Unit 5. Word List. Acquaint. To acquaint is to get to know something or someone. Nancy acquainted herself with the new computer. Cemetery. A cemetery is where people are buried when they die. Some people are scared of cemeteries. Curse. To curse someone or something is to hope that bad things happen to them. The witch cursed the village. Disguise. A disguise is something you wear so people cannot tell who you are. Everyone knew that it was dad in the Santa disguise. Fancy. If something is fancy, it is nicer than normal. Their table was all set for a fancy dinner. Flashlight. A flashlight is a small electric light that you carry in your hand. We took a flashlight when we went camping. Hood. A hood is part of a coat that goes over your head. She put on her hood to keep her head warm. Inhabitant. An inhabitant is a person who lives in a certain place. The number of inhabitants in the countryside is increasing. Nourish. To nourish something is to give it food that it needs to live. A good mother will nourish her baby every day. Pirate. A pirate is a sailor who steals things from other boats. Pirates are very scary characters. Publication. A publication is something printed, like a newspaper or book. She's been a subscriber to that publication for over 10 years. Riddle. A riddle is a question that is difficult to answer but meant to be funny. I could not answer Wendy's riddle, but it made me laugh. Rot. When something rots, it slowly gets softer and is destroyed. The old log began to rot in the forest. Scare. To scare means to cause one to feel frightened. I was scared by the sight of the monster. Shortly. If something will happen shortly, it will happen very soon. My workday will end shortly. Skeleton. A skeleton is the bones of a body. There is a skeleton in the science classroom. Spoil. If something spoils, it turns bad or rots. We left the fruit out too long and it spoiled. Starve. If a person starves, they do not get enough to eat and sometimes die. During the war, many people starved. Thrill. A thrill is an exciting feeling. The boys enjoy the thrill of surfing a big wave. Wicked. If something is wicked, it is very bad or evil. My boss is a very wicked man. Trick or treat. Many different cultures have had traditions about the dead. People in places like Ireland, China, Egypt, and Mexico believed that souls needed food. They thought the food nourished them on their journey from cemeteries to heaven. People had to put out good things for souls to eat. However, if the food rotted or spoiled, the soul got mad. The wicked soul might curse the family and make them starve during the winter. In other places, people begged for food on a holiday that remembers the souls of dead saints. People wore disguises with hoods that covered their faces. If they did not get food, they played a trick on the home. For this reason, the activity is known as trick or treating. Shortly after people first began trick or treating, parents started sending their children to beg on that day. Housewives gave the children food if they performed a song or a dance. When people moved to America from all over the world, they brought this tradition with them. Inhabitants of villages started trick or treating in the early 1900s. In 1939, a children's publication acquainted the whole country with the tradition. It became very popular. Today, trick or treaters are not begging for food and they are not scared of souls. They just enjoy the thrill of dressing up like creatures and getting candy. Ghosts and skeletons are favorite costumes.
But some children wear fancy disguises, like pirates. They carry flashlights instead of fires. In some places, children still perform songs or riddles to get candy. But most of the time, they just say, trick or treat.